Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty, the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, made a statement in which he congratulated the Team Bahrain McLaren for cycling for a winning Saudi tour through the cyclist Phil Bauhaus. His Highness said that this victory affirms the capabilities Bahrain possesses in the cycling sport and said that its development is going according to plan, which aims to participate in events abroad and to achieve the best possible results. His Highness affirmed that victory also provides an incentive for athletes to continue to perform at the highest level and to yield further victories in the future. He praised the performance of the technical team, as well as that of the cyclist Phil Bauhaus, whose victory deservedly earned him the tournament's green shirt. The cyclist wore the green shirt while being crowned as winner despite the strong competition from his competitors. This is the West Asia Premiership, so it's played between all the clubs in the Gulf. Six of them are in the Emirates, there is only one outside which is here in Bahrain. Um, so over 12 rounds we play off against all these teams and at the end of the year, at the end of the season, the top two teams will play off for the title of West Asia Premiership champions. If we finish top of the league, which I'm hopeful we will, then this year that, that final will be played here in Bahrain on the 27th of March. Um, and it's always, it has been for the last few years, a great event, a great party and a great competitive game of rugby. Um, so yes, so that's, that's the game today um, and everything to play for both Dubai Exiles and Bahrain. We're looking at just continuing what we are doing. Um, we had a, a guy here, Louis, who organised a team, built up to what they are now. And he left and Adam's taken over, doing a great job. So, yeah, we're on the map and we're going to stay there. It's been a great day here for the rugby club um, and not just for rugby. I mean, on the rugby field, they won a fantastic match uh, against uh, their biggest rivals, Dubai Exiles. Uh, and that almost guarantees that the final is going to be here at the end of March. Uh, so that was great, and it was a big victory for them. So well done to the rugby guys. But there were so many other things going on today. You know, there was the netball, there's cricket, um, there's all ages, uh, and you know, boys, girls, men, um, all playing different sports here. And uh, it was great uh, to see that. And I'm glad we were able to show uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser a little bit of that, uh, so that he got a, an impression of everything that's going on at the rugby club. But it was a great day today. All of it, throughout our league, you play one home fixture, one away fixture. It just happened to be that this year, pre-New um, Year, we were playing a lot of the away fixtures. We've now got a really good run, run of home fixtures coming in now. So this is uh, one of the next three home fixtures we have. Um, so we managed to tick a box there and we won that, which is great. But then we'll face the uh, Abu Dhabi Harlequins and the Jebel Ali Dragons um, to come. So they still got to travel here and face us. We went well against them early on in the season, but we know that every game's got to be taken game by game. So we have a little bit of a break now until the 28th where we play Abu Dhabi Harlequins here and we'll be looking to go back to the drawing board. A lot of hard work, a lot of graft between now and then to make sure we win that fixture as well. Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competitors of the third edition of the Strongest Bahraini Man Championship were held, organized by the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid under the theme Be a Monster. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid gave a statement in which he said that he had directed to continue holding the championship as part of his initiative to support youth and sports in the kingdom. He added that the championship is an opportunity for the youth to demonstrate their abilities in such sports, which require strength and high fitness, which in turn contribute to honing their skills and increasing their readiness to represent the kingdom in similar championships regionally and internationally. His Highness Sheikh Khalid had directed that this edition to be different from the past editions, which included light and medium weight competitions. He hailed the outstanding support of government authorities, 
companies and contributing institutions in holding the third edition of the championship, affirming that their support demonstrated their keenness on achieving community partnership to support the youth and sports sector. His Highness concluded by thanking all the contributing government authorities and companies, as well as all print, audio and visual media, for their support to hold the event. The competitions were witnessed by the chairman of Bahrain Fighting Games Council, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Farooq Al Muayyad, and a number of officials in the youth and sports sector. His Highness also honored the top winners. Bahrain's Strongest Man Championship is one of the sports initiatives launched by the first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which reflects the keenness and inserts of His Highness to continue his sponsorship and support for the Bahraini youth in sports, sports in an atmosphere full of real competition, excitement and suspense, which serves the development of their levels and accelerate the progress of sports in the kingdom. The uh, Supreme Council for the Youth of Sports um, had a very clear target in mind um, and His Highness Sheikh Khaled has picked this up and ran with it. The idea is to turn Bahrain into the capital of youth and sports. So the idea is to bring in international events or um, design and choreograph um, local, regional, international events from Bahrain. So this marks a new milestone that His Highness Sheikh Khaled has adopted and executed and as you can tell the the audience are here the numbers are here um, and we're one step closer to to being a uh, the capital of youth and sports following the series of achievements this event comes in its third edition which focuses on three aspects dare strength and competition what we basically do we take care of, of all our players before during and after the um, the competition and if any of the players need any assistance before the competition as we do a full checkup before the competition itself when it comes to as a, as a full triage blood pressure blood sugar and all these things to make sure that they are fit and then we move on to the competition day of the competition and we take care of the players while they are doing uh, all the exercises as you see here and if they need anything or if they got injured we take care of it in this small tent you see here and then after the competition if they need anything further when it comes to physiotherapy and, and um, assessment however uh, we are in the third edition of Bahrain Strongest Man uh, this year we are, uh, we are facing a, a biggest audience uh, more people is uh, I mean, interacting and uh, attending this event uh, the preparation this year was totally different because of the location, which is in the middle of uh, the capital, Manama, next to the Avenue Mall. Uh, this year, uh, there was a lot of uh, games and competition, which is uh, 
which will uh, I mean uh, nominate the or take the the winners to the to the GCC uh, uh, first GCC uh, championship. The third edition of Bahrain's Strongest Man Championship. As you can see, the weather is amazing. The competition is very neck to neck. It's very competitive. I'm very proud to be part of the organizing team and we would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for allowing this opportunity for the youth to show their capabilities and strength in a very honorable championship. I'm one of the guys who participated in this event in Saudi that happened like last week. Uh, thanks Allah we won and we qualified for the finals. I'm here to watch the events here in Bahrain today to see how is it going? They have three weights here, lightweight, medium weight, heavyweights. The heavyweight, three champions, three winners, first and second and third ones, they will qualify for the finals. These are the guys we're going to uh, face in the finals in April. I feel happy to be part of this event. I got a second place in lightweight. I want to thank Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his support. The championship is one of the collective efforts to enhance the kingdom's status in the sports field on a global level. And Bahrain already proved itself on the international arena thanks to the constant support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The Bahraini parliamentary delegation, led by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, concluded its participation in the 30th Emergency Arab Interparliamentary Union in Jordan, which was held to support the Palestinian cause. A statement affirmed that the Palestinian cause will always come at the top of the country's priorities. The leaders who participated in the meeting praised the stance of His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein. The Bahraini delegation affirmed the kingdom's firm stance towards the cause under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and his role in supporting the legitimate rights of Palestinians. The delegation also affirmed Bahrain's support towards joint Arab parliamentary work and all efforts that aim to achieve peace, security and stability in the Arab world. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzia Zainal, took part in the emergency session of the Arab Parliament, which was held in Amman, Jordan, where she affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, remains steadfast in its support for the Palestinians in their pursuit of obtaining their legitimate rights and aspirations. Zainal called for drafting a joint statement by Arab parliaments to the world to affirm that the Palestinian issue remains central, despite all difficulties and challenges and that they reject all initiatives that undermine the rights of the Palestinians. She also expressed Bahrain's appreciation for the efforts of the Palestinian president and his keenness on unifying the positions of all Arab states and for ensuring the protection of Palestinian rights as per UN resolutions and international law. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, held the weekly meeting where he hailed the council's achievement of earning the award of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for, U for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in the field of women advancement. He praised the role of Her Royal Highness and wished her further success and achievements in all fields. The Council then approved a draft law on amending Law 284 of the Commercial Companies Law, based on decree by Law 21 of 2001. The Council concluded its meeting by presenting a report on the Bahraini delegation that participated in the annual World Summit of Political Leaders held in Iceland in November 2019. The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Head of National Medical Team to Prevent Coronavirus, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Health Minister Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh visited Ibrahim Khalil Kano Community Medical Center. The visit came to check the center's readiness and the preparations taken to allocate it to isolate and receive suspected cases of the emerging coronavirus. They were briefed on the mechanism of receiving and transferring patients and the measures that prevent the transmission of infection were examined. The medical team was directed to follow the therapeutic protocols and procedures to control the infection and to apply them in a proper manner that ensures maintaining the safety and health of patients, noting that no infection has been recorded in Bahrain. 
consultant of infectious diseases Dr. Jamila Al Salman, reviewed the ministry's efforts in developing the general plan and medical protocols to combat the emerging coronavirus based on international guidelines and the Gulf Health Council in keeping pace with global and regional precautionary measures. President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, opened the fourth conference on renewable energy and climate change, organized by the Kingdom University in cooperation with the International Renewable Energy Agency and Tamkin. Mirza gave a presentation where he reviewed the achievements made in the field of sustainable energy, including expanding the potential for renewable energy and further improving energy sufficiency. He discussed the latest developments in the National Goals for Sustainable Development and the initiatives implemented by the Sustainable Energy Authority. Mirza also noted the authority is working on attracting investments in large projects in wind and solar energy generation, which are being studied in order to increase the benefit of clean energy in the kingdom. There have been many developments and changes recently in the field of uh, renewable energy. If we take only, for example, the solar energy, uh, there have been a vast development in technology which uh, resulted in lowering the cost of the uh, uh, you know, solar energy. And this, of course, is what we are trying to do to uh, allow people to use electricity at less cost than before. Uh, the second thing, we have now a large number of qualified consultants and contractors because we trained more than 300 individuals free of charge on how to install solar energy in houses and uh, businesses uh, in a safe manner and in the professional manner. Also, there is now agreement between Tamkeen and some of the banks to facilitate the financing of the solar energy projects for houses and for businesses. Plus, there is a, a, a big development in technology of renewable energy and we can benefit from that because we can see now many companies and individuals want to uh, use uh, solar energy because we received lots of requests from many of these. We are glad that we see this uh, awareness by the people because at the end of the day we want to make cost of electricity cheaper for all the people. Under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Saqar Al Nuaimi inaugurated the Royal Special Force School in line with the 52nd anniversary of the BDF establishment. Al Nuaimi toured the school and its different departments and expressed pleasure for opening the school, noting that this unit is one of the BDF's most important units. He praised the unlimited support of the BDF Commander-in-Chief and his keenness to provide the the BDF members with education and training needed, which helps in enhancing the human cadres. Commander of the Royal Special Force Major General Isa Muhammad Al Rumehi delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the BDF Commander in Chief for opening the school and patronizing this event, which reflects his keenness to provide military schools, units, and weapons, as well as provide the most recent and modern requirements to overcome all challenges and achieve further development. Chief of Staff then honored a number of officers. After that, a commemorative gift was presented to the Chief of Staff on this occasion. The Spring of Culture Festival is set to continue for the 15th year in a row, which cements Bahrain's position as a regional and global center for culture. During a press conference held at the Bahrain National Theatre, where President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said that the cultural festival will be themed after Delman, which she said promises to entertain the audiences with various activities, including literature, music, art, theater, and more. Sheikh Hamey said that cultural achievements require the partnership of the people and that the Spring of Culture represents a perfect example of that. She thanked the chief executive of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Khalid Humaydan. 
the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Center for Culture and Antiquities, as well as local institutions, private sector partners, and various embassies for supporting the festival. For his part, Khalid Hamaidan said that Bahrain occupies an important cultural standing, which attracts tourists from the region and the world, and supports the economy. He added that the support of partners in the public, private and civil society sector partners is shedding light on the festival and promotes it. We're delighted that the Spring of Culture is happening on a regular basis, on an annual basis here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's a celebration of art, culture, music um, and various events that fall under the cultural umbrella. Of course, this is a, a fantastic partnership for Bahrain Culture Authority to partner with EDB and other local galleries and uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Center for, uh, for art and research. This is a platform where everyone comes together and shares the best of their events, their programs, their activities and I'm particularly happy because the Spring of Culture on a yearly basis doesn't only focus on entertainment but it also reaches out to young audiences, to workshops, to educational uh, lectures and seminars so it's, it's a combined experience that will enrich any society and we're delighted that the 15th edition has been highlighted today. The CEO of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Dr. Mohammed Mubarak bin Dayna, met with the members of the fifth batch of the first Deputy Prime Minister Fellowship Program, where he hailed the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier on national cadres, and the opportunities the program provides to review the institutional workflow and discuss government programs with officials in ministries. Bin Dayna stated that Bahrain boasts youth who are driven towards progress and are able to achieve development in the institutional work sector. He added that investment in the human element is the basis for development in the kingdom in various domains and that the program comes to translate this investment by achieving the goals aimed at encouraging national cadres to gain experiences and hone their skills. Bindina reviewed the role of the Supreme Council for the Environment, led by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment his Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa in protecting the environment based on the principles of the Charter. He noted the role of the Council in enhancing environmental awareness in all segments of society and implementing its plans to increase awareness on the environment and its causes. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to distribute 5,000 housing units, in light of the Royal Directives, the Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, began the distribution of the Salman Town housing project. The Minister said that the distribution will continue for the next two weeks, which falls under the directives of His Majesty the King to build 40,000 housing units. The project will include parks, road connections to facilitate traffic movement, road tracks for cycling and walking, public transport stations, in addition to the important services such as education, medical and sports.